First at six, it's been exactly one year since a Greenwood family learned they had COVID-19, their cases, the first in Johnson County. One of them, the first person to be treated for the virus at Franciscan Health. Yeah, WRTV's Alyssa Donovan explains how that very first COVID-19 patient at the hospital made an impact on her family and the health care workers treating her. Mary? Yes. Hi. It's exactly a year from today at 10 o'clock at night. We had a call from Johnson County Board of Health and said all three of us tested positive. Mary and Mike McQueen and Mary's mother, Emily Whalen, were the first cases of COVID-19 in Johnson County. And who would have known that it would have gone this far? After her mother's symptoms worsened, McQueen brought her to Franciscan Health. Waylon, the first COVID-19 patient to come through the hospital doors. I just remember there was a lot of, um, a lot of confusion. There was a lot of, you know, everyone was scared. McQueen was sent home while her mother was placed on oxygen and admitted. Nurse Taylor Nighty becoming the family's lifeline. Taylor called me twice a day. And 91-year-old Waylon becoming a light to hospital staff during a time of uncertainty. You had this wonderful person that she's the one sick in the bed and she's telling you it's going to be okay. And Which is so my mom. And when the time came. Taylor called me again. She said, your mom has gone under and uh, the hearing is the last to go. And she said, I want you to talk to your mom. And uh, so I did, and we talked. I talked to her and just told her how much I loved her and how much I so enjoyed her being here, living with us, and everything she's done for me. And I thanked her for everything she'd done as a mom. And Taylor said, I know she can hear you. She's squeezing my hand. Waylon passed away on March 17th last year. She was the first person to die from the virus at Franciscan Health. Since then, around 2,000 patients have been treated for COVID-19 at the hospital. Waylon on Taylor's mind with every single one. That patient was a big light in our scariest moments as healthcare workers. And while Waylon brought comfort to the workers, McQueen says Tayla was her comfort during one of the most difficult times in her life. Because she was the angel there with my mom. I'm Alyssa Donovan, WRTV. 91-year-old Emily Whalen was the second person to die from COVID-19 in the state. Her daughter says the family finds peace in knowing their mom lived a very full life and was a source of positivity to those around her until the very end.